In the 1950s, philosophers had this um, novel idea that perhaps the mind is just identical with the brain. Okay, um, and this hadn't occurred to philosophers uh, before, um, and it so happened that it happened around the same time that the first departments of neuroscience started forming, like at MIT and Stanford and so forth. Um, but Basically, there were a couple of philosophers, both educated here at Oxford, Place and Smart, and they made the claim that the mind just is the brain. So that is the identity theory. And with identity, identity in logic is the strongest relation. When you have identity between A and B, you don't have two things, you have one thing, all right? So now, whenever you talk about mental events, you're talking about brain events. Whenever you're talking about brain events, you're talking about mental events, okay? So that's the identity theory. Um, and it's very popular. Um, it's basically the idea that mental properties are just properties of the brain.